foul tarnished. I am Gary, the guardian of the gate, and I grant you no passage. Hey there, friends. I'm Andrew. You're watching The Scrap Box, and last week we made a courtyard that's going to lead to a temple. This week we make the temple. Now you may be wondering why there's a bunch of wheels just stacked in piles. Well, that's because we had a bunch of small pillars over here, and when you get to the main temple, you've got to have some big pillars. So these are what my big pillars are going to be made out of. Here is the initial sketch. Here's the slightly, very slightly more detailed sketch. I want to have four big pillars. I want to have an archway in the middle, a little bit of stairs going up. And then on this side, there's going to be a bit of a cave-in. And perhaps the whole thing is octagonal with some tiling in the center and two statues here and here for the corridor beyond. Let's make it! But right now these pillars are just here to help us map out the whole temple. And the first thing we actually have to do is make a pathway with stairs that lead slightly upwards. No, I was using this as a measurement for the archways and I put it sideways. I was like, dang, that might look cool to have the entrance have like circular um, stairs and now I just realized that I can't show you the whole image zoomed out because um, it would probably be flagged. Squared off stairs it is. I put these two here because we need giant Technic poles to go through for the pillars. Let's do that. So often I tell you that I'm going to do something and then I think to myself, oh I should probably do this other thing first. For instance, I should probably put these in here little Technic things, just like over here, Technic one, but these should be 16 by 16, so if I can get that off, I'll put the rest in. There we go, now it'll be easy to connect the rest of the pieces to these ones. Boop. The boop is mandatory. Alright, this is the best that I got right now. Um, is this perfect geometry? I don't know, they snap together. Whether or not it's perfect, perfect, or, you know, just enough leeway to make space, I, I ain't worried about it. I'm not worried about it! I'm not worried about any of this! In one of the bags I thrifted, they had this Lego gate, and I think that's gonna block off the front entrance. What do you think? Well, you can't actually tell me. I mean, you can tell me in the comments, but by that time, the video's been made. So, think good thoughts. Okay, logistically thinking, I just realized that this temple's gonna have to be pretty tall if it wants the gate to be able to go up at least that much. I think it's gonna work out. I'm not too worried about it. However, I do wanna build up, there we go camera, this area and that area. And so I've got, got a masonry brick. I'll put that one, oh man, it's hard to show camera things. There you go. There you go, oh no, it's all shadowy there, perfect. Or I'll put another one on the top, just like, just like that. Well, at least we know it's going to be a dark and gloomy one. And I'm going to um, reciprocate this on the other side, but I'm going to flip it with the regular brick first and then the masonry brick. There. All right, we've got that nice and built up, and I want to put these curves up here. But before, I want to put one extra little brick, and I've got it back here. There we go. It's one of these modified one-by-one one pieces with a little hook or a little uh, clamp. I'm going to have one there and one on the other side because we got to include some lights. So I think, wow, focus. Focus, no, just, just, focus. Yes, close enough, good. Alright, so I think these were originally in some sort of Harry Potter set where the lanterns are upside down and they have this little missile piece and a little dish. And I have these in a silverish gray and I'm just going to put them right onto my temple. And actually I've just lied to you because I'm only going to put one on there and the other one is going to have fallen down there. There we go. I'm gonna build up this arc, and then I also have a bigger arc with um, these Technic slash regular stud pieces, and they're just gonna go on like that. So little arc, big arc. You know, I have some bad news. This is looking more like a castle gate than a temple gate. Oops. 
All right, hard part time. You notice I took down all the columns, and that's because I have to, you know, make actual floors. But where these two by twos are, are where the columns go, so I can't put floor there. Now my first instinct is to make a huge mosaic floor, kind of like I made the mosaics over here, but make it an intricate pattern. And my second instinct is no, that's really hard. All right, the floor has been, um, I almost said tiled off. It's not tiled off, it's plate, plated off. There you go, I guess there's some little tiles in there, like right there. And then on the inside, I haven't put anything, and I try to cut it as close as possible, because I'm trying to decide, do I want a big mosaic? Um, some other things I could do is, maybe this is a temple dedicated to the moon, and I'll print little circular tiles that have the phases of the moon that go boop, 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 like that with some sort of um, pedestal or altar in the middle. Or maybe it's like one of those um, mosaics like I see back there. One of those mosaics. Either one of those on the floor or one of those or the phases of the moon. Or if I want to really, 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 really really make it complicated. Maybe I could have some sort of big puzzle where like you turn the pieces and like a little moon piece moves and you turn another piece and a little sun piece moves and when you have them in the right place it's supposed to unlock that door. You know, because I played a lot of Uncharted and Tomb Raider growing up. But that one sounds too hard. Anyways, here's some windows. I'm gonna put the windows right about there-ish. Let me make the other one. There we go. Now I just have to build the walls around them. Mm, I mean, the windows look good. They look good all walled up like that. But um, this, this looks like it could be a temple with maybe some stained glass windows in it. But when you put the gate in, you're like, no, 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 no. That's a castle. Ugh. I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the front wall and then I'm going to have myself a nice long thing. Man, I hate making things with complicated angles. I say as I make one, two, three continuous things with complicated angles. All right, I mostly got the angles figured out. And I love the different arch effects. I think it, it makes it look nice and intricate. Anyway, so as soon as I press this down, the front wall has been created. Nice, so my two things that I'm asking you are, should I keep the gate in there or replace it with something else? And what is gonna go on the actual floor? Is it gonna be a uh, triangle mosaic? One of the big um, background mosaics? Or is it gonna be a super intricate and difficult puzzle? Please not the third one. As always, I've been Andrew. You've watched the scrap box. Have yourself a nice rest of the day. Thank you for watching the scrap box. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, all that fun. There's a bell somewhere in there. Um, have a good one. Bye. Foul tarnished. I am Gary, the guardian of the gate, and I grant you no passage. Uh, could I just go around? Your gate doesn't like continue or anything, it's not even guarding anything.